beginning to understand Hitler's interest in this. Thing. Oh, yes. The Bible speaks of the Ark leveling mountains and laying waste to entire regions. An army which carries the Ark before it is invincible.
Jones, do you realize what the Ark is? It's a transmitter. It's a radio for speaking to God. And it's within my reach. <laughs>
Monsieur. I am uncomfortable with the thought of this Jewish ritual. I'm sure it's necessary. In Tromaville, New York City, the world's oldest continuously running independent movie studio, Roma. And uh, in a nutshell, movies like The Constant Avenger, Class of Newcomb High, The First Turn On, Made Input Barbarian and Dinosaur Hell, Blood. <laughs> that one might confuse with the Steven Spielberg movies in their magnitude, but obviously are uh, in the firmament and the blandishment of cinema. And sometimes the little people of Tromaville must call upon the Toxic Avenger to liberate them from the conspiracy of elite. Other times, the little people of Tromaville call upon Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD, who can use his heat-seeking chopsticks in his is a 16-byte sushi and flying projectile parasols to get rid of the sporting of the free conspiracy. And sometimes the little people of Tromaville, as they did in Troma's war, take matters into their own hands. You have to donate a kidney to get a movie made. It's a very expensive process. The budget of a film, no matter how small the budget may be, you pretty much have to suck uh, uh, penises on the boulevard of your local village in order to get the budget to make a movie. We need to free the museums. The museums are much too much under the thumb of billionaires. Uh, the so-called sensations film, the so-called sensations uh, art uh, uh, display that cre created such a ruckus. Uh, the ruckus should have been that a billionaire's uh, a mediocre collection of shite was being uh, promoted by uh, an American museum. That is the, that's the, uh, the story, that the museums are being used. The Los Angeles Museum was used to promote a furniture company. Um, Troma is fighting against uh, the, uh, not necessarily the talent of Steven Spielberg, but the fact that the media praises Steven Spielberg uh, for his giant budgets. That's what makes him classy, his giant budgets. His, uh, the fact that he is, uh, supposedly uh, can appeal to uh, uh, hundreds of millions of people all at the same time. Well, baby food can appeal to hundreds of millions of people. You can eat baby food and live, but it sure is boring. And uh, not to take any of the talent away from Steven Spielberg, but the media is very off base when they praise movies uh, uh, 
for the wrong reasons. On the other hand, Spielberg did do something very unique, which Troma has, uh, you know, with Troma movies, we very often uh, have scenes where people's heads are being chopped off and they're being dismembered or, or, or what have you. Uh, Spielberg was involved in a movie called The Twilight Zone, where Vic Morrow, actor Vic Morrow's head and the heads of two children, I believe they were Vietnamese children, were chopped off by a helicopter blade. So that was real. Uh, so I guess he's uh, gone a step further uh, along the uh, the uh, channel of uh, violence than uh, Troma has. Troma doesn't, uh, cannot take credit for any uh, injuries or deaths uh, in 30 years of filmmaking. Um, on the other hand, um, Citizen Toxie, which is the new trauma movie, does uh, pay tribute to the great American sport of school shootings. Um, uh, all I need to know about filmmaking, I learned from the Toxic Avenger, will teach you that people who go to a trauma movie know that they may love the Toxic Avenger or they may hate blood-sucking freaks, but they know when they see a trauma movie they will never forget terror firmer. They will go on a ride they've never been on before. People who go to see a trauma movie, when they go to the cinema, they know they're going to see something they have never experienced before. They will experience genuine emotion. They may be pissed off when they see the trauma movie, but they will have a strong reaction. And most people, most people probably don't want to have strong reactions. Most people would rather stay at home and watch Friends on TV or maybe watch Steven Spielberg's. Uh, or maybe watch shite like uh, Lawrence Kasdan's uh, Grand Canyon, where it's all politically correct and it's yet so racist, in my opinion, that uh, when they go to www.troma.com, they are uh, there to uh, have some jalapeno peppers on their cultural pizza. All righty. Well, uh, good luck with it. I hope we get a nice... Careful you don't cut anything. When you cut it down, be careful how you cut it so that you don't get sued. You know, it's... I think everything I said is, is uh, okay. It's protected under the First Amendment as opinion. If I were to say Steven Spielberg murdered Vic Morrow by chopping his head off with a, with a helicopter blade, that I could conceivably be sued for slander because oh, he didn't uh, murder the guy. Okay. Um, you my opinion, in my opinion, it is murder because they were so careless. If you've got $100 million to make a movie, you just don't go around chopping off Vic Morrow's head. You make goddamn sure it doesn't get chopped off. <laughs> and if you have to spend $99 million on that and only $1 million making the movie, you spend the $99 million on not getting his head chopped off. That is exactly why we wanted to talk to you.